Hi, I'm Charlene Laney, co-founder of Newmaker Financial and Certified Financial Planner. Today I'm here to give you yet another update on some of the changes that were made by Secure Act 2.0 with regards to different options with Roth. So if you are someone who works for a company that has a 401k plan, uh, maybe it's a nonprofit with a 403b, any sort of qualified retirement plan, and if you are also a high wage earner, earning more than $145,000 on last year's tax return and are above the age of 50, this is for you. <laughs> so because you are over 50, you are able to make catch-up contributions to your qualified retirement plan. Now, the new rule by Secure Act 2.0 is that any and all of those catch-up contributions need to be Roth contributions. In other words, you won't get the tax benefit for that catch-up contribution. And this is, again, based on the previous calendar year. So if you were making $145,000 at this company or above $145,000 at this company last year and recently took a pay cut or you just you decided to um, take a role within the same company that is maybe a little bit better for you in terms of work-life balance, but you're now no longer making quite that much, you still have to make your catch-up contributions as Roth because this is dependent on what you reported the previous calendar year. Um, now, for self-employed folks, this is one of the things with Secure Act 2.0 is that they haven't quite delineated all of the details on how everything is going to work, so not exactly sure yet, but the verbiage seems to imply with using the word wages, um, which means W-2 income, that self-employed individuals can actually continue to make pre-tax catch-up contributions, of course, if you're above the age of 50 only, even if their self-employment income exceeds $145,000. So we'll see if there's any clarification made on that front, but for now, it appears to be the case that self-employed folks can still make pre-tax catch-up contributions. You may be wondering as well, what about on the employer side? Well, there was actually a change here too. So for employer contributions to your 401k, they now actually have the option to give you Roth contributions. In the past, you've likely seen that any contributions to your 401k made by your employer, those are all done on a pre-tax basis, but they're now able to do so as Roth. Now, why might they want to do this? <laughs> well, in reality, most of the time, you're not going to see this happen. This is more of a planning strategy for small to mid-sized businesses um, that have, you know, we're not talking about tens of thousands employ of employees, but decently sized companies where maybe some of the key employees want to benefit from being able to get some further contributions into their 401ks without having to worry about it being pre-tax. So this is something that, again, not going to affect too many people, but it is a change to look out for. And if you are a small business owner, this could actually be a, a decent planning strategy for you. So I hope that this has been helpful. I will definitely keep you updated on any further updates to Secure Act 2.0 as we continue to find out more. But let us know what else you want to hear about. And if you haven't yet, like, share, and subscribe. We will see you next week.